What's going on everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. And this is a quick video tutorial that I actually wanted to share with you if you was having the same issue. I'm going to play some B-roll here where you can actually see I actually have a Apple Mac Mini which has the M1 chip in it. And the problem that I actually came across in having this right now at the moment is that when I'm doing Photoshop, as you can see here on my screen, I'm actually trying to export this as render it as a video now this has never been a problem if i have any audio issues forgive me because i'm doing have to record this from my phone at least the audio part but the problem that i'm actually having right now is the fact that i cannot export this like i used to like there is no render video option here in the export piece underneath the file for photoshop and this has never been an issue Actually, when I would use my wife's MacBook in order to do this, this option is always available. And that, that was actually Adobe, I mean, Photoshop CS6 that I was still using on there. So we never really actually updated the operating system to be what it is right now, uh, which I think this is Big Sur. And that one's still on um, Mojave or something like that. So, so, yeah, but that option was still actually available. Well, the way that I actually figured this out was in doing some playing around if you go to export you go to render image sequence you notice that if you come here to photo image sequence it the adobe media encoder option is grayed out so i immediately thought well maybe i need to download the adobe media encoder so i have an adobe subscription here all right and that's exactly what i did i went to all apps and i downloaded the adobe media encoder which is open up right here so now when i'm going to show you what i actually did in order to solve my issue um, i'm gonna hit okay okay access to my microphone now what i actually had to do to record this was i actually had to come over here i had to hit the plus sign to add this and i actually had to click on the file which is actually this one where I was actually creating a timeline animation for the background that's just scrolling infinitely and with the little, my gear cogwheel kind of spinning there. I had to actually upload, add this, click open. And once I did that, I just came over here, drop down, put this on YouTube 1080p. It's the original option was high bit rate, but I just put it on YouTube 1080p full HD. And I just went ahead and I clicked the green button here which rendered the video here as such. So let me actually do that for you guys right now. I'm gonna just do it here for this Black Planet one that I previously made. Let me go to open. All right, this is already done. I'm gonna leave the options just as they are. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to highlight this and I'm just going to hit the green button. And as you can see here, rendering and exporting the video. So we're going to get out a little bit more time. It's only about like 11 seconds in MP4. All right. And boom, if I go to my file folder here, if I go to my external hard drive, let me look for it. Uh, you screen quick start course. Okay. We can actually see now I have an MP4 of both of these that exported successfully. If I click the play button here, we can actually see that it's going, but let me enlarge it for you so you can actually see it for yourself. And we have a full video from exported from our Photoshop, you know, 2022 <laughs> off the uh, Creative Cloud. All right, so that's the way that it's supposed to be. Now, an alternative from what I've looked at, just going on to the, just Googling a solution is I found this little article in the Adobe support community. It says Photoshop 22.3.1, that this version has no option to render video. And as you go down here, the guy has set up here and I'm running MacBook Pro M1 2020 Big Sur, kind of what I'm doing right now on my Mac Mini. And you can actually see that in this larger image, there is no option to render video as it was previously. Well, in one of the... Let's see here. I noticed in your screenshot that there is a render image sequence option, which is available in the render video 
window up to 22.3. Have you checked if by any chance this is now the default too with the option? So uh, that doesn't really solve the issue, but here's an answer that somebody else provided. And I thought this was worthy of mentioning because this may give you two options. If you don't have an Adobe subscription right now at this moment and you can't download Adobe Media Encoder, then this option says that if you, so to solve, you would need to run Photoshop as Rosetta right as rosetta i actually had to ask support how to do this exit photoshop go into your application folder and find photoshop folders right click on the photoshop application in the folder click on get info and that there will be an option that says running rosetta check that and then restart photoshop and you should have your render you should have your render as a video button it worked for me it will run slower, but you can toggle back and forth between versions if you're doing something quick and don't need that button. Here is a link and explain some of the things missing. I will link to this article, to this support community, this web page, and to the description below, and you will have this link here if you're having that same issue, if you have an M1 computer. But it looks like, judging from the comments, this solution also works. So. So I thought this would be a good video to do if you're having any issues with this because this was the only, well, article solution that I found that there wasn't many videos actually made for this, but I wanted to make this very apparent and available to you if you were having those issues. So you have two options here. You have either to do the media encoder solution or you can run it as Rosetta, which I haven't tried yet, but I thought I'll show it to you so you can also have that as well if the media encoder sounds like it's going to be more of a hassle uh, that's going to be it for this video also make sure to check out TubeBuddy. i don't really talk about TubeBuddy too much and i need to promote it more but it really helps you if you're starting to become a content creator if you're watching my videos and you see that i'm actually helping you become that content creator especially if you watch my last video where it says no more job hunting it talks about being a content creator. If you're going on YouTube, you're going to need a tool that's going to help you do keyword research. That's going to help you keep you on the up and up. If I click here, it gives you all sorts of options like Keyword Explorer. You can put in a certain keyword. It's going to tell you how it ranks. And other things, SEO Studio, a tag list, video topic plan. It just gives you a smorgasbord of so many things that you could do to really beef up your YouTube channel. Anyway, that's going to be it. I also have it as a, I'm also a pro member as well. So I guess that's important to mention also. Um, leave a comment below if you need any further help. And I look forward to talking to you guys in the next one. God bless y'all and I'll see you in the next video.